and welcome to Hacks, where we try to simplify cybersecurity. Today, we are back on Hack This Site, looking at the JavaScript missions. And I believe we are on JavaScript number five, Escape. Did she say RuneScape? I've already completed this mission, and it, it was a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoyed this one, mainly because we got to use one of my favorite tools. Uh, but let's take this challenge and have a look. So, um, Faith spelled RuneScape wrong. Maybe not. So, if we submit some nonsense data, we get, nope, try again. So, in order to see what this password form is doing, we need to view the page source so you can inspect it or just click view page source and spend about a week scrolling through all the text to find where we need to be. So, you can see here, as denoted by the open and close less than greater than tags, that we have a JavaScript script. Do you say that? Do you say, do we have a job with, we have a JavaScript script, or do you just say we have a JavaScript? Don't know. So, as we can see, we have a variable, be, a variable being declared called moo, and this is why they are saying whether or not they spelled RuneScape wrong. Um, unescape, it's a function in JavaScript that essentially converts URL encoded or URL characters into their actual alphabetical numerical character representations. So this is saying take this string of URL encoded data or text or numbers and then unescape it and assign it to move and then we have the function check x so it's saying check the user input of the password form to say if moo is equal to x or if x is equal to moo so it compares x with moo to see if the value that you've inputted is the same value as what's being stored in the variable moo then we solve the mission you can see that post the window and does all that fancy stuff and if else or else failed i hope i explained that right i tend to rub it quite a bit so what can we do to decode this text? Well, there is a really good tool and it was actually put available to the public from a source which you wouldn't usually associate with sharing their toys. Uh, came from GCHQ, uh, that's Chatham and Gloucester headquarters. And if you don't know who they are, um, in the UK, I suppose they could be compared to, I would say the Pentagon, but that's probably not right. Um, like the CIA or NSA, essentially they handle all like the spying, I suppose is the only term to describe it. Uh, they do a lot of things, they provide military intelligence, without them, you know, country would be definitely a target, but they're, they're a great public, um, don't know what to say about them really you know it's what you can say that's the trouble but they released a tool called cyber chef and what cyber chef does is it allows you to input any encoded text select a recipe they call it a function and decode it to what it was before which is particularly useful in this case so if we head over to cyber chef i just gotta do a quick google for it should be the top link, gchq.git.io, github.io. And you can see here, when it loads, mining Bitcoin, brilliant. Um, we have the recipes on the left, so you can select any of them, and then you drag them into the middle, and then you paste your text there. But there's this really good formula, or this really good recipe called magic. And if you put that in there, it will automatically detect or it will attempt to detect what you're trying to decode. So if we come over to here, grab our encoded string, and paste it in here, we can see that it's URL decoded it to the value I love moo. And that's it, that's all that is required for this challenge. So if we head over here, and we paste in I love moo, and check password, and we say, ah, so that's what that means. So we know we've completed it. If we click OK, we get the level up. 
Um, and that's that mission done. So yeah, really cool. And um, thank you GCHQ for releasing that tool to the public. You know, it's equally as surprising as when the CIA released GDRA, GDRA, the reverse engineering tool. You know, you expect the governments and things to keep these things secret, to keep them in ha the hands of nefarious actors. Um, but no, it's really good and it's really helpful. You know, the amount of like capture the flags I've done where I needed something like that. You Cyber Chef decodes it. It's brilliant. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, uh, lessons to be learned from this one. I feel qualified to talk about this one now. So don't encode any sensitive information with easily reversible encoding. You know, don't use Caesar ciphers, don't URL encode stuff. It's surprising, really, because URL encoding um can result in a lot of bad things if your input validation isn't on point you know if you url url encode like open than less than brackets greater than less than brackets or pipes you know you can t you can occasionally bypass input validate input sanitization and validation on websites i really can't speak today but that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. If you did, perhaps you could subscribe uh, or just give me a thumbs up. And I will see you next time where we do JavaScript mission number six. Kind regards.